Out and about, Friday afternoon, out of work, getting calls from work about graduation, I can tell. They just never stop bothering you. Email, call, text, one after the other. Getting the graduation plans ready for the kids. They deserve something really nice. I don't know that they're gonna get it or not, but we're gonna try. <laughs> All right, so today out and about on the, on the bike path, headed out towards Pendleton. But you may see a little different quality today. Hopefully in a good way. Uh, this is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Gonna try this with the uh, little faux fur over the microphone, as opposed to the Insta360 ONE X. Uh, just finding that sometimes the video resolution isn't what I want. So I'm gonna see if this helps. If not, well, the Insta is not bad. We'll see how that goes. So here we go. One thing I just wanted to mention was a little crossing there at Kenmore. I hate hitting that light. You know, you hit that light and everybody looks at you like you're an idiot. I tend to just wait for cars to, to uh, clear and then I go by on my own. People are really pissed off when you stop them at that light, especially when they stop for 45 seconds for you to get three seconds across. So I've been trying not to do that. Hopefully that's not a bad idea. And I hate to set a bad precedent for, for other people. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. Now this guy stopped and let me go. So I will take advantage of that. And I'm just saying in general, I don't like to stop there. I would prefer to stay on a, I would prefer to just stay on the side and let the cars go by and go when it's the right time to pass. So, that's just me. All right, out on uh, Pumpkin Creek. Very windy. Uh, sounds windy at least. Yeah. Uh, so far, kind of a warm day. Real nice. Just so much going on. It's so hard to focus. Get out on the bike and make your rides worthwhile. I've been trying to keep my heads on straight, but it's hard to have your head on straight when there's so much unrest in the world, and rightfully so. So, gonna get out to the country and see if that helps me clear my mind a little. Very windy still, but out here on Old Falls Boulevard. So right now I'm behind consumers and Pet Supply Plus, etc. And you're not gonna believe it when I turn the camera around. But take a look. Is that pavement? Holy, holy crap. All new pavement. Beautiful, that road for the life of me. It's been one of the worst roads to cycle on. And yet, it's one that we use all the time because we use it to get out to Tonawata Creek Road. We use it to get out to Pendleton like I'm gonna do today. We hop on that all the time. So, the fact that they paved that. Thank you, town of San Wanda, or whoever it is out here. We appreciate you. <laughs> All right, back to end rant. All right, so was just out and jumped on the two days of Buffalo Pendleton uh, 
race course and saw this pathway. I have never been on this before. It's called the Pendleton Recreational Pathway or something like that. Uh, not a soul on it. And I'm gonna ride this to the end and see where it goes. Turn around and I'll have a good, probably a good 25 or 30 mile ride in. So excited to see where this will take me and hopefully some, uh, some new pathways. So that's it for today. I'll take some more shots of this, if anything interesting happens. But uh, hopefully the GoPro looks good, and hopefully it sounds good. And if I can get good footage out of this, and the sound I need, this might be what I record on for in the next while. We'll have to see, I'm not sure it's wide enough. I don't want to because of a headshot. Cause me too much in uh, dental and cosmetic surgery if I have to get any closer with this thing to tilt, still look good. All right, take it easy. All right, so didn't get very far. Just after, just after making that last little snippet about how nice the path was, I uh, ran out, went past a road, major intersection, and uh, onto the next part of the trail, which, as you can see, is. <laughs> Mostly gravel, mostly gravel, bigger dirt. Uh, but hopefully, uh, you can see this goes on for quite a while. This must be an old railroad track or some kind of trail. Hopefully, I'm, not, I'm hoping this isn't posted, but uh, hopefully this will be paved and continue on to uh, somewhere nicer uh, in the future. But just getting to the end of that trail back there uh, and back is gonna be about 30 miles almost. So kind of nice to jump on that and uh, see where it took me. So uh, that's the report on that. I've got 28s on here, but not big enough for me to go much farther. Maybe on the cross bike, but not on this. All right, so the sign back there said that that was the Killian Road Trailhead. So I'll have to check that out on the map at home, see where Killian goes to because that could be a cool way uh, to somewhere else. So headed back home, back on the good road, back on the good part of the path. And uh, Friday night, some takeout, hopefully a nice relaxing weekend away from work with the summer coming soon. Take care. <laughs> Thank you.